It's supposed to be a football Friday, but that ain't happening. So we've got a lot to get to. TJ Lang changed his schedule because more of the useless youth sports he attends. He'll be here at 2.30 instead of 3.30. Uh, we have our normal program where the football will be by way of the picks. It will be by way of the prop bet casino. It will be by way of a couple of one-segment deals. Lions playing Monday affords us that. The Tigers not losing in two months affords us that. But I do have to start with something. It's very important, Rico. Were you privy to David's performance before the show? Yes, I was. I have never in my life witnessed something like that. Apparently, the midday show uh, was giving away Tiger tickets to the game tonight. And even <laughs> after those tickets were given away, people wouldn't stop calling. And at one point, David slapped Kenny, which is an absolute HR violation. And he just goes, get the F out of my way. I'm going to handle this. David proceeds to, there's a full phone bank of calls. There's 11 people calling in. And he goes one by one. Tickets are gone. Thanks for calling. 97.1, tickets are gone. Tough luck. 97.1, tickets are gone. Sucker. 97.1, tickets are gone. Bang, 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 bang. Phone bank empties. Yeah. It fills up again. David does it again. But he's changing his octave every time. Changing the cadence, changing everything. Like, okay, well, no, nope, you lost. Sorry. You lost. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. T tickets Please are go gone. Away. Have a blessed day. Yeah. Tickets are gone. F your mom. <laughs> tickets are gone. I'm like, did you think? Uh, congratulations. You didn't win. Right. It's just like, <laughs> what? But here's why that's relevant. Both that David is a psychopath, and we were laughing our asses off, but it shows you how badly people want to be at this game tonight because I want to know if this is a fair way to open the show. It's not even a competition. It's a coronation. Mm-hmm. They're not losing. First of all, they're not missing the playoffs. Second of all, they're not losing. It's a coronation. Doesn't it feel like it's just a party that people want to be a part Friday of? Friday night, yeah, absolutely. And you just hang out downtown, go to a restaurant, do whatever you want to do. Tonight feels like the night, especially because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So let's get it in tonight. Much like you at the dentist. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Listen, it's very important. <laughs> I would like to know from the people, though, have you reached coronation phase? I mean, the, the, the Twins, we've been saying this for weeks. The Twins cannot win baseball games. They don't want to play baseball for money. I mean, last night, they were driving a clown car soaked in kerosene. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a bit of delicious irony with Rod Allen on the call for the Marlins uh, and Derek Hill and some of the other people that played a role in that disaster. How do you bunt into a double play? Twinning. So, look, the moment is upon us. I mean, I would imagine the celebration is going to be hilarious tonight, both in the stands, but obviously in a clubhouse full of young players who no one expected much of or guys who really had no professional future. When you're rocking an ERA of 5865725 in the minors, you don't have a professional future. Right. But you do here. <laughs> you're right. Because it happened. So I'd like to know from you guys, is tonight, look, if you're planning on going to the game, what would it take for you to sell your ticket? But is tonight just a party? Like, I can't wait to see the district full. Get there early. Get there early because it will fill up. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but I, I, is it a coronation, not competition? I don't have any fear of anything going sideways. I, I do believe they're getting it done tonight. And it's, it's just this wild thing of like people lining up for a pair of tiger tickets. How long has it been since that? I mean, Mike, you couldn't have told me what a month ago people would have this type of an excitement. I mean, we were just saying, Hey, congratulations. You stayed relevant enough this summer. But there's no way you can go on this type of run because that means you would have to be this good, and that means the Twins would have to be that bad. Cut scene. That actually happened. And now you're right. Uh, it's almost to the point where the last time you've seen something like this was playoff tickets for the, for the Lions last year, where near the end of the year, everybody had to get down to Ford Field. Everybody needed to be in the place because you waited so long for this team to do that. I think the same thing is going to happen here with the Tigers. Like this weekend, 
even if you can't make it to the game, you're just going to go downtown to say I was downtown and I, I was in the atmosphere. I'd like to hear from the people. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. David, I'm sorry the tickets are gone. Thanks for calling. Yeah, the tickets are gone. But here's what I'll say to you, Rico. And, and, and Kenny, Kenny, he saved you answering twenty seven phone calls. But no, no, it was how it he was did the cadence it. that got me. It was the tickets are gone. Sorry, no, you suck. Goodbye. Kenny, like, it was David coming about? around the corner saying, "Now it's my turn." Right, and he comes running from the back. Boop. Tickets are gone. Sorry, tickets are gone. Sorry. Hey. Tickets are gone. He looks at me. He's like, did you just give away tickets? I said, yes. He was like, oh, oh, oh rubbing his hands together. Congratulations. You didn't win. Right. <laughs> David, answer one call. I'm highly favored. You're not. Have a nice day. <laughs> Unbelievable. But go ahead. Da David, where do you stand on this besides the fact the tickets are gone? Here's what I think. I do think today is a coronation. It's, it's going to be a celebration time. But there's one thing I disagree with you on, Rico is that people are going to go downtown and just hang out even if they don't have tickets. This town is not like that. Dude, this, the district is popping. This this town doesn't do the things they should do. It should be a day and, uh, or a night and evening to celebrate and just hang out. They're not going to do it. It's only going to be people mm. at the game that's going to celebrate. It's going to be no one. It's going to be an empty street. David, I, I disagree. I think people will be down at the establishments. If they were able to brave the cold last year during the Lions playoff run, because it was brutal. But it was zero. Dude, football's religion. Right, but it's it's a weekend. It's nice. Yeah, you're going to go to all the little local establishments if you don't have a ticket just to say I was there. And the second that it's over, you're going to run over to Comerica Park and high five with anybody that you can see. You're going to take your photos. David, I think the people will be downtown for that. Like it's, it, Mike, I understand. Football, it was brutally cold. I remember that game like, oh, how in the world are people going to suffer through this? But they did because they wanted to see something. And you haven't seen winning like this for baseball in a long time. Yeah, it's not raining. You'll be down there. Kenneth Cott, this was a night designed for somebody like you. This was a night where you're supposed to have slick back hair, Kenny, Hawaiian shirt, meth head, Magnum PI. Tonight was a night designed for you. Will you be gracing the patrons, the 1901 society with your presence? I, I thought about it, Mike, and I still am on the fence. I might be downtown, um, but yes, this is a night designed exactly for somebody like me. And I'll what tell you, you what's the issue? What's holding you back? Oh, nothing. I just, uh, I'm, I'm house sitting for a family member and it's a whole thing. It's a whole different side issue, but downtown. No, it's not. To hell with them. Okay. So listen, <laughs> what would it take to get you at the game tonight? Because if anyone should be there, it's you. Um, a ticket indoors would help, but uh, no, I'm, I'm, I think tonight's designed for a fan like me. Who's what just... are ticket prices tonight? I don't know. I'm sort it out. I'd love to know. I'll, I'll look. I'll, I'll go check. Because again, with the way people call the midday show and David... 97 one. The tickets are gone. I'll tell you this. We got when we give away Lions tickets, we get massive phone calls, massive amounts of phone calls. But today, this was this equaled a Lions like a, a Lions Sunday giveaway is Tiger tickets, which tells you how hot this ticket really yes. is right now. Find out what, what some of the cost of tickets are in seats you'd actually sit in. And we'll have a conversation. Um, so we're going to get it started. We are going to talk some Tigers. We are going to do a little bit of football because I think David said one of the most heinous things I've ever heard, and especially from a pastor, uh, but his view on Michigan State and Ohio State and what he's rooting for. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a hint. Hospital bills. Um, truly embarrassing from an alleged leader of the black community. I was uh, born in the darkness. <laughs> citizens of Gotham. <laughs> D David essentially wanted everyone's neck broken. You, that, that's what he's rooting you for. You merely adopted it. I was born <laughs> in the dark. I was born in the dark. Okay, then, David. Thank you. So, look, we're going to weave football into the mix. We do have Tiger topics, not only this coronation angle, but who is most – Not we always do most to blame. Who deserves most of the credit? Who's your Tiger, in essence? That mm. old bit. Is it – Vote uh, V-Mart. Is it Avila or Avila? 